The skepticism is ingrained in the medical profession, right? Is that we have to be very, very careful when adopting therapies for loss of, if for you, for losing credibility, right? If we start, you know, t- saying drugs, you know, based on little amounts of data, hey, you should use this, and then it finds out it doesn't work or it's harmful, um, you know, we are extremely uh, responsible to avoid that. In fact, the cautiousness actually, I think, is now excessive. And I think it's being driven by a few things. So in the pandemic, many therapies have been adopted. For instance, hydroxychloroquine was adopted without any clinical trials evidence. And then once it was studied, it was shown really not to work. I mean, there's a small signal if you give it early, but it's not a very strong drug. And so it's largely been abandoned for use. Some of these pharmaceutical products are being promoted on all negligible to weak evidence. And so everyone, I think, is pretty dejected. We've heard all the stuff that works. That everything's been in, in introduced with a lot of fanfare. So even remdesivir, which to me is essentially an ineffective drug, um, but it's being used widely in this country um, at $3,000 a dose. The monoclonal antibodies simply do not work. Um, convalescent plasma never and we never even believed it should or could work it, it it failed even biologic plausibility that would be good for a bloodborne illness not for an illness like COVID. and now here comes ivermectin so ivermectin is really moving against a lot of headwinds right everybody is tired of claims of eff- efficacy so i don't blame anyone for being cautious right they don't want to make any more mistakes but boy, they are almost willfully ignoring the amount of evidence. And the main thing that we're, the, the main um, objection at this point, and I hear this over and over and over, and I think it's what's called ethnocentric. So from the US and the Europeans, all of the trials are coming from these little countries that don't usually do high level big pharma research, from oftentimes modest hospitals and centers, right? Um, or, or universities that you don't normally hear publish on new medicines. And so they don't trust the data. And they keep telling you they're waiting for a proper trial. A proper trial is what I keep hearing. And, and so what that means is the medical system right now is built around almost a requirement that you have a two, three, four, five thousand patient trial, which is double blind, rest, uh, prospective and multi-center, generally run by a pharmaceutical company or a major academic and medical center with a big government grant. We don't have that, but I'm arguing we have the uh, we have an alternative which is actually superior, and I'll tell you why. We now have those 27 trials randomized with repeated signals. I'm constantly being told we need a proper trial. Guess what? There's no pharmaceutical lobby behind ivermectin. It's a cheap, widely available, off-patent drug. 